Well, HHS has reported that 7.1 million people have enrolled in private coverage. Now, these are enormous sums of money to be paying for such a small fraction of the population, especially considering that preliminary estimates show that well over half of these enrollees already had health insurance before the law went into effect, and that most of them will also obtain advanced premium tax credits, which further drives up the cost to taxpayers. Now, given that you propose to spend more than $2 billion in outreach and enrollment, let me ask two questions uh, of you today. One, can you tell us today how many of the 7.1 million enrollees the President has touted already had, had health insurance uh, before the Affordable Care Act went into effect, and how many were forced to give up their insurance due to mandates under the law? Yes or no? I don't know what I'm saying yes or no to. Well, you asked a question about well, how many of those 7.1 million enrollees uh, that the president has mentioned have had health insurance? You have also, before the Affordable Care Act went into effect, how many were forced to give up their insurance due to mandates under the law? Were there any forced to give up? Senator, there were a lot of plans that were adjusted to come into compliance with the law, and there were certainly people who were transitioned into new plans and given options of new plans. Um, I, I, don't, uh, I do not have data to give you right now in terms of who exactly was previously uninsured. We are collecting that. Uh, the recent independent RAND study that just came out uh, this week says that uh, before even the final surge at the end of March, that by mid-March they say there are additional 9.3 million people with health insurance uh, thanks to the Affordable Care Act. And I can tell you that uh, those numbers are, are going to be much more significant by the time we tally the, new, the newcomers. But the insurance companies are presenting us with that data, and we'll continue to collect that and give it to you as fast as we get it. Okay. If you don't have these numbers today, I, I might understand that. I just really need to know when you're going to make them available. You think within... Well, again, Senator, uh, over 2 million people have signed up since the 15th of March, um, and we are getting that information from insurers. We don't have individual names and numbers of who exactly was insured prior and who was not, so we will be feeding you information as soon as we get it from the company.